Hey guys, Melissa here. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how I made this wire prong setting for this emerald cut ametrine. This style is how I started off wire wrapping many years ago. This time the bale's a little different and the top's a little different. So if you want to see how I made this, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's get started. My stone that I picked here is an ametrine, emerald cut, and it measures out to be seven millimeters by 11 millimeters. And it's not very deep. It's only like four millimeters deep here. So I'm gonna make a little prong setting. You're gonna have to do some measuring. I grabbed the piece of, this is 21 gauge dead soft sterling silver wire. I have three feet left, so I think that will be good. I think that'll be just enough. I'm gonna cut three 12 inch pieces. I like working with square because they line up nice and they lock together really nice once you bind them. I'm also gonna be using some gold fill. This is gold fill half round wire, it's 20 gauge. And I'm gonna use this as my bindings and it'll give some nice gold accents. I'm gonna pull all my wires out straight my gold fill, I think I've got about eight inches. And if I need more, I'll grab more. My sterling silver is pretty curvy as well, so I'm gonna try to straighten these out as much as I can. They'll be easier to bind and lay flat next to each other. They're a little bit straighter. Make sure you have a ruler on hand because you're gonna be doing some measuring and it all depends on what kind of stone you're using. You can't go off my measurements. Some kinks in here. Let me use my nylon gel pliers to try to get these kinks. And I go from both directions. Or all four sides, I should say. Okay, that's much better. You can also work the wire with your fingers to get them to line up together better. Painter's tape is also helpful. It helps hold your square wires together while you're binding. So I'm gonna put some tape on either side, but leave the center open because I'm gonna start in the center. Just kind of press it down. So this is approximately the very center. It's going to make up the bottom edge of your stone. So here on your stone, you're going to measure from this point to that point. On the corners here, you're going to have your prongs. So you grab the ruler. Millimeters would be easier the easiest to work with. So I'm gonna say that's about four millimeters that we're gonna need to wrap. Once again, I'm using gold fill. I'm gonna make a little tiny hook. Find your center again. Center is approximate. You can mark the very center of you like. I just try to find the approximate center. I can shift the bindings over if I need to. I always press it down each half turn. So they're nice and neat. So I think four bindings would be about four millimeters here. Looks like one more. I'm 
Make sure your cut ends are, are both on the same side. I'm going to snip that and then press it down. All right, so that looks good measurement wise. And we're going to move on to our first set of prongs. But before that, we're going to have to take our tape off because we're going to work with that top wire. If your binding seems slanted, you can grab opposite corners and kind of give them a squeeze. That helps to straighten them out. You can also keep working at your squares, make sure they're lining up correctly because they tend to twist. You don't want that to happen. Your wires are going to wrap around the stone from the side and your prongs are gonna reach up above. So I'm gonna grab my bindings. I'm gonna lift up the top wire on either side of the bindings. Keep pulling them out straight. All right, so then you got this going on. So you got the two top wires facing up. At this time, you can also put a bend in the bottom two wires so they start facing backward like that. So you got this going on. Top wires facing up, bottom wires facing backward. Give a size check. This shape should start cradling your stone, but we'll make a set of prongs now. For prongs, I like to use my flathead pliers. The tips of mine, I think are three millimeter. Yeah, three millimeter. So I always use my flatheads or my flat nose pliers as a guide. So I'm going to grab them from behind and go to the side and bring it over my pliers. And gently smoosh it down. And do the same to the other side. So when you use your flat nose like this, your prongs, I'm going to go this way. Your prongs come out, should come out the same height. And then you smoosh this one down the same way. You want your wire to come back up again, so you grab it just like you did, and then you bring it out straight. And that's eventually going to curve down the side. Do the same thing on the other side. can bring it over and have it meet the other two. You can grab your tape again to secure it if you'd like. And do the same to this side.
Next, we need to measure the side of the stone. We won't bend those prongs yet. About nine millimeters that we need to bind up. So next, we're gonna put nine millimeters of bindings on either side here. And that should secure it. We can take our tape off. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure your cut end is facing the inside. You can pull up on one side to make more room if you'd like. Or to get it started too, you can even bring it out. Bring your bindings out until they open a little bit. So you have more room. And I kind of push it. Pull it through. Once you get your bindings going, you can slide them down. So the more you put on, the more difficult it will be to slide them down. So I make mine nice and tight. All right. Pushing and pulling. Maybe a couple more and then I'll measure. One more. I'm going to cut it. bindings. I think that's enough. Go ahead and snap that. Smoosh it down. Take your tape off. Time to make another set of prongs. 
So either side, the top wire, bring it straight up. Both sides, straight up. Straight up from your bindings. Flat nose will help get a nice sharp angle. All right, so same as before, we're gonna grab with the tips of our flat nose and bring it over. And gently smoosh. And grab the base and bring it back out again. nice and parallel to your other wires. Same with the other side. Grab the base. Wrap it around your flat nose. Just like that. out again. Nice and parallel. All right, let's do a little stone check. Looks promising. All right, let's kind of start to bend the top now. Start to bend them inward. Bend them inward while bending them upward. my stone, I have to use something thinner than my flat nose to get this angle here and then the angle upward. these shoulder lengths correct and the angle correct so your top edge doesn't flare out too much. I could have measured but I just kind of jumped into it. You might have to fiddle with this part to get it just right. You don't have to get it square across the top. You can taper it upward towards your bail if you would like. But this one, I would like to get it a little more squared off. Once you're satisfied with your angles, we can fit our stone, make sure it sits in there nicely. And it does. I think this is flaring out a little bit. I'm going to start angling my prongs towards the corners. Just kind of give it a twist. a slight twist. And next, 
I'm going to take like the very tip, maybe like a millimeter, millimeter and a half. And I'm going to push on it with my finger and try to bend just that tip over. I'm going to do that with each one. These top ones are going to try to get all wonky on you. Because these wires aren't tied down yet. But these prongs down here should be easier. Let's work up here a little bit. Gotta get everybody back in place. All right, I'm gonna use this little strip that I got left over. I put a little hook in it. I hooked it on the back and I'm gonna just bind all these square wires together. I only have a little piece. This will secure everybody until I make my bail. I'm going to bring the front wires forward, the back wires backward, and I'm going to make my bail out of the two middle ones. I'm going to work off the spool this time because I'm not quite sure how much I'll need. I'm going to start it on one of the back wires though. I'll make it about an inch. I cut the end of my half round so I can wrap it around the front or the base of the bale. I'm going to bring these two back bale wires through this area here, up here, because there's a gap. That'll fill that gap nice. I'm going to finish wrapping the bale since I have extra. Make sure all your prongs are the same angle. This one up here just looks a little wonky. Look at all those wires we have to work with. 
All the structural parts are done now. Your bale's done. Well, kind of. Actually, let's tie down these bale wires. We'll just bring them straight back, up and over. And snip them in the back so you can just tuck them in. Give them a squeeze side to side as well. This will give your prongs some sturdiness. Okay, so yeah, so all the structural parts are done. Bale's done, bale's secure. All you have left is the fancy embellishments and you can go crazy or you can just tuck them in. It's all up to you. So I'm just trying to figure out what I wanna do next. So I don't really have a plan for this ending part. I want to add some swirly components, so I'm just going to play around and see what I come up with here. Bring these guys down this way, kind of do the same thing. This guy, I'm going to make a little swirl. This guy's through. All right, I think that's enough embellishments for this guy. I'm going to cut these guys short and tuck them in. Make these guys a little shorter up here. 
think it's a little too much. Can we tuck these guys in this way? side and kind of flatten this design down. Not too shabby. Prongs look even. Our stone is protected. I'm not going to oxidize this, but I, I need to buff it up a little bit and shine it up and I'll be back to show you how it looks. All right, so this is how it turned out. I'm sure you saw from the beginning of the video how it turned out, but I shined it up, took all the scuffs out, polished it up. It's pretty similar to how I wrapped many years ago when I first started. I'll throw a picture up now. This ametrine I wrapped for somebody when I first started, so it was good practice. So I thought I'd replicate it. I happen to have this emerald cut ametrine, so. so yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought. I did the top a little bit different. Just trying to change up the design a little bit. I really like how this one turned out. Anyway, that's all I have for you this week. Once again, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. That will alert you when I post new videos. And I'll see you in the next one.